Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. News came out today that will send shockwaves throughout not only the English Premier League but world football. Claudio Ranieri, the man behind the most impressive and incredible Cinderella story in the history of sports, is out, sacked, gone as manager of Leicester City Football Club. It is shocking in the sense that it is taking place nine months after Leicester City overcame 5,000 to 1 odds to win the Premiership. And now, here they are sitting at one point above the relegation zone. Five consecutive losses in the Premier League. And, you know, they're coming uh, off of a 2-1 loss to Sevilla in the knockout stage of the UEFA Champions League. So, this is a sinking ship. You know, uh, Leicester City can easily be described as the worst team of 2017 so far. They still haven't scored a goal here in late February in the Premier League. It's just been an absolutely dreadful run of results. And it is proof that there's no room for nostalgia in football. Less than three weeks ago, Leicester City gave Ranieri the dreaded public vote of confidence. It seems like that is always uh, the final step before going off the deep end for a manager. But my goodness, Ranieri did something truly legendary at Leicester City. He did what so many people believed to be impossible. 5,000 to 1 odds. The most improbable domestic league champion uh, in the history of the Premier League and probably in the history of sports, like I said. But the Foxes being in a relegation fight one year after that is shocking in a sense, but the writing was on the wall. Ranieri complained at the beginning of the season about ownership, giving out 19 new sports cars to the players, spending so much time celebrating past glories. But where was the focus on this year, on bringing... Uh, you know, maybe not necessarily more success, but at least sustaining it and stabilizing Leicester City Football Club. That has not happened. They only sold one player, albeit a crucial one, in N'Golo Kante. But I am blaming Jamie Vardy, Riyad Mahrez, and all the other players who have not put in the work this season. Vardy, only seven goals this season, has not scored a goal yet this year up until yesterday's uh, UEFA Champions League match. He's just been absolutely horrendous. The effort that Riyad Mahrez has shown in so many games has been pathetic, absolutely terrible. He is a shell of himself from what he was last season. Completely unacceptable, the performances of Jamie Vardy and Riyad Mahrez. They're fat cats, all right? They're suffering from fat cat syndrome. They got their big money deals. They got paid. They're financially set for life. And now they think that they can just slide on down to Premier League safety just because they had an amazing run last year. But they're learning the hard way that reputation does not get you anywhere. It is all about the work, the work that they have not put in. Obviously, you have to put blame on Ranieri. He had a message. The message was not getting through to his players. But he himself uh, admitted, too, that he should have been tougher on the players at times. Perhaps he should have dropped some of his stars to uh, prove a point. But Leicester City ownership did not want to sack him. They had to sack him. And I'm sure they saw what's been going down at Hull City, at Swansea City, teams in the middle of the relegation fight, sacking their manager, making a change, and now are both really trending in the right direction. So look, there's going to be a colossal amount of pressure on the new manager of Leicester City Football Club. But tonight, Vardy, Mares, all the other Leicester City players who played a part in winning the league last year and are not getting it done this season, they should be ashamed of themselves because Ranieri should not have been in this situation in the first place. And I put more of the blame on the players than I do on Ranieri. Though, look, he had to go. This is a sinking ship. We'll see if it can be rescued. If Vardy and Mares do not save the Foxes from being relegated, they will be just as much of a joke as they will be a Cinderella story in the eyes of the haters. I personally will always have love for what Leicester City did last season, so I'm disgusted to see what's happening right now. Thank you so much for tuning in, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel.